Hello Aries and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for June 2020. I'm excited to do this reading for you because there's a lot of change coming into your life this month. Decisions are being made and you're moving away from the past so a lot of change coming in. So I'm going to use three decks of cards for this reading. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel welcome. Subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day and there is a general reading on here for you that will help as well. Well, and I'm doing a reading for all the masculine. So whatever sign your masculine is, there's going to be a separate reading for you about them. Okay, let's do this then. So we're going to use the guardian angel reading cards to pull a card for you and your divine masculine. We're going to use the angel affirmation cards and the witch's tarot. So thank you, angels. What's going on with the Aries twin flames for the month of June? Okay, what's going on with the Aries twin flames? For the month of June. Wow, I'm going to split the deck there. So powerful. Okay, two cards jumping out there as well. Taking out anything that's jumping. What's going on with you, the Divine Feminine? Well, what's going on with the Divine Feminine? The Aries Divine Feminine or you. Okay, let's have a look. There we go. And what's going on with your Divine Masculine? Okay, so, you know, you may be um, a Divine Masculine watching who's an Aries. Just take what resonates with you, Okay. What do you need to know right now? Oh, okay. Wow. A lot of cards jumping out. I'm taking out what I'm feeling, okay? I'm going to put these back in a sec. Wow. Okay, okay. They're telling me they are for the masculine. So it's for both of you. So we're going to read them all together. So let's see what's going on for this month then. Let's have a look. Card jumping out there and there. So the first thing that's coming up is this one, which is showing you success. So during June, there's going to be a lot of success coming into your connection. And it's the six of one, six signifying June and also signifying on the material world. So in the 3D, you're going to feel success. There's going to be a victory coming. So you're going to feel progress. You're going to feel it moving forward. You're going to feel a lot lighter about the connection. Wow, look at that, the six of swords. Six, six there. And six again about June, but also about the 3D reality. Things are becoming easier. You're moving out of the past energy of fear and doubt and worry. And if any of that pops up this month, you've got Archangel Michael around you, guiding you on, keeping you strong, keeping you powerful. So you're releasing fear this month. You know, you're releasing negativity about the journey and you're seeing it as a beautiful picture a beautiful, you know, thing that's leading to something amazing. You're seeing it as power. So you're in your power, I feel, this month. And, you know, you're leaving the past behind. On the 3D, it's becoming easier. You know, it's always been easy on the 5D realm, but it's becoming easier now in the 3D world. You know, you're feeling better about this situation. And, you know, there may still be some restrictions around, some trapped energy. You know, you may still have to move out of fear, but you're feeling better, you know, because it feels like this restriction that's going on in the world and in your life, it's in place for a few months yet, you know, they're giving me fear, thank you, and as I say it, it may create trigger energy, fear, but what triggers heals, because they show me June to August as this time where you're releasing, you're releasing, you're letting go, things are being orchestrated and divinely timed, it's all moving forward in the right way, so it's about you trusting in divine timing, because, you know, your masculine does still get blinded by your light, and that's nothing you're doing wrong, because it means you're doing everything right, they just tend to, you know, shy away a little bit from the light, because it's blinding, and it means they have to face their fears, they have to face their reality. So if it's been feeling a bit stuck or stagnant in May, you can feel it moving forward now. Something's blooming, something's blossoming. And they're also showing, you know, anything you're going through financially as well, it's all beginning to work out. Because if you are carrying burdens around, it's time to let them go because it feels like there could be some financial burdens or worries or struggles, responsibilities that are still affecting the connection. They're still bringing in this, this fear when your masculine connects with your light because your masculine has to leave the past behind. 
you know, is moving out of karmic situations and resolving things right now. So they're working on their priorities and their burdens. And it's showing you this is what they are working on. And that's why it may currently still feel trapped or restricted. But from your perspective, Divine Feminine, you're feeling much better. You're in your victory energy, you know, you're leaving the past struggles behind. So it doesn't mean you're moving on from the connection. It means you're leaving the stress of the connection behind. So you're seeing the good in the connection now. You're understanding it a lot more now. You're in your power. You know, you're understanding why your masculine reacts or responds the way they do. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It means they're dealing with the fear. They're dealing with the emotion. They're dealing with their situation. And, you know, they have to release the burdens. They have to let go and trust in heaven that all will be well. So feminines, you've got, wow, look at this, the angel of faith. So you've also got the number 12 there. And we're going to look all of this up for you. So the angel of faith there is, is showing you to have faith in all things because the angels are watching over you, guiding you, keeping you strong. And this is you and this is your divine masculine. You know, it's about you trusting in the connection, faith over fear, believing that it's happening and all is well. And the number says all relationships are assignments. Wow. So your relationship right now with your divine masculine is an assignment that's been set by heaven for you. And any people within this situation, you know, karmic people, family members, friends, anyone around the energy they're all assigned to you for a reason. You are finding your friends and your tribe and even understanding your soulmate relationships at this time. So this is a huge sign for you, Divine Feminine, that you're on the right path, you're with your tribe, you're understanding the relationship a lot more and it's bringing in peace, harmony and strength because you've got faith. So this is exactly what I'm feeling when I'm tuning in with these cards because the way I'm seeing these cards here is these two cards are connected with the divine feminine, you, okay? This is about you feeling victory and stronger and more at peace with the journey. And then we've got the fear energy coming in around the divine masculine. So for your masculine, wow, look at this powerful, the angel of decisions. And they're giving me the number eight there again. So I'm feeling between now and August, they're going to be making decisions, okay? decisions and this is powerful because this came up just in you know the general reading for you and decisions are affecting your connection so it doesn't matter what sign your masculine is your masculine is making decisions and you're making decisions well you're making the decision to put faith over fear and your masculine is making the decision to speak the truth to move forward because this is why they're getting blinded by the light because they know they have to make a decision to stop feeling trapped to move out of any energy that isn't serving them you know to work out their money situation to release the burdens to work out what to do so your masculine this month is is really thinking about the future you know, making decisions. There's so much going on in the mind right now. So if your masculine does kind of fall away from you a little bit, meaning they're blinded by your light. In other words, if they go a bit quiet, if they're being indifferent, if for any reason they do ghost block or ignore you, and I'm not feeling that, but if it happens, it's showing you, it's because the mind is overwhelmed and they want the noise to stop. You know, look in the card there. You can see how much information is going around in your masculine's mind. And the angels are bringing in peace and harmony. Well, you're in different energy there. You're enjoying the journey. You're connecting on the 5D with your twin. You're feeling the love. You've got faith. You know it's moving forward. Whereas your masculine is overwhelmed and being a bit blinded by the light. So that doesn't mean they're not coming towards you. It means they're working out what to do. And, you know, this month there's going to be work to be done. You're both doing your work, making decisions, finding your way, okay? Releasing the past, letting go. So there's a lot of energy coming in about letting go and having faith and trust in the connection. And then we've got a lot of cards coming out here. I'm going to take them because everything happens for a reason. So we've got Sacred Source, Anxiety, Divine Mystery, Transformation, Do It Now, Blue Angel and Vision. Wow, so... What this is saying is Archangel Michael, the blue angel, 
the angel of truth, the angel that brings in decisions and will be around the both of you, bringing in faith over fear. He says, I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am all around you and I will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful. I love you all as well. And that's so powerful because when I did the general reading for you, Aries, okay, this came out. So power coming in. You're protected by heaven right now. We've got do it now. And this is another sign that your masculine is making these decisions. Don't put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition. For it is the guiding voice of your soul. So your masculine is being guided to do the right thing. To make these decisions. To work things out and to do it now. To stop procrastinating. And this is another reason you're being asked to have faith. And they are being guided to let go. This is why they're being blinded by your light. Because they're facing things right now. They're going through a transformation. They're going through a change. And so are you because you're in your power right now. You know, like, like Joan of Arc, you're standing strong. Though through It says, though, let's start again, through the great love that holds you in its embrace, which is what it is, it's great love, and it's holding you it's in, in its embrace, which means you're holding each other right now on the 5D you know, in those other realms, you are moment by moment transforming to ever greater light, ever greater oneness and ever greater wisdom. So both of you are gaining wisdom, oneness and light right now. And this is why your masculine is feeling that light because it's coming from within themselves also. So there's great transformation going on this month. This is super powerful for you, Aries. We've got vision. So keep a clear vision of what you desire, you know, see it with unwavering faith, trust the journey because, you know, you've got faith this month. So you have to have faith in this journey. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation, surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. So the more positive energy you have, the more faith you have, the more love you send out, the better things will be and the quicker things will work out. Obstacles will be removed. So let go of any anxiety. And I feel the anxiety is more connected with your masculine and the way that your masculine makes you feel, you know. So if your masculine doesn't reply to your messages or goes cold on you or starts to ignore you, you start gaining anxiety. And this is when you have to call on Archangel Michael to keep you strong. We surround you with the healing light of Amethyst. Wow. So we've got Amethyst coming through. So this is going to be a really great crystal for you this month, okay? <clears> the <throat> blocking up throat chakra area. So if you get any anxiety this month from lack of communication, blocked throat chakra, or any blocks on the journey, grab some amethyst and hold it in your hands and it will heal. It will bring in a healing, okay? Take a deep breath. And breathe in this beautiful violet light. So this violet light is also the, the violet flame of the twin flame connection. You know, the power Saint Germain. It's Archangel Jeremiah bringing in healing. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. So also it's about having faith over fear. Seeing that love will conquer all, knowing the truth. And that this journey is a divine mystery. You know, it is, but you're enjoying it because you're enjoying, you're unfolding, it's unfolding right now. You, along with the sun, the earth, the moon and the stars, are part of one creation. A divine mystery unfolding every moment. Be present and feel the power of now. Be in the moment and witness the wonder of it all. So you're starting to see the wonder of the journey. And this is why I'm really feeling, you know, the success you know, you're letting go, you're feeling better, you're releasing the fear, because you're feeling this divine mystery, you're understanding it, it's beautiful and powerful, and it's leading you on, you know, it's leading you forward, it's holding you by the hand, and taking you forward, so your angels are holding you by the hand this month, and moving you forward, you're feeling stronger, you're feeling more in your power, you know, you're realizing the wonder of it all, because you're more in the now, 
So you're not going and projecting yourself into the future in fear. And if you are thinking of the future, having that beautiful vision of it, you're not you know, worrying about the past anymore. If you could have changed it or done it different, you're more in the now. And that's where you're safe. And that's where you tune in with your sacred source. We, your angels, are here to remind you of your magnificence. You are literally an angel in the making, a being of eternal love and light, forever one with God, Goddess, and all creation. So you are all one, you're one with source, you're infinite intelligence, you're infinite abundance, you are hope and joy, you are liquid love, you are an angel in the making. So everything you're going through is creating power and it's creating strength. And this is why there's so much change coming in this month because your energy feminine is uplifting and, you know, your light is, is bigger, you know, it's stronger, it's more bright, it's brighter. So your masculine is bound to get a bit afraid of that light because they are healing right now and transforming. So let's end the reading then with a message from your masculine what does your wow okay your masculine's got a lot to say i dream about you every night powerful let me just grab these cards wow i dream about you every night so your masculine is letting you know that during june every single night not just one every night they're dreaming of you thinking about you you're on the mind they wake up with you on their mind you're on their mind before they go to sleep and they're dreaming of you. You are my light and that's so powerful, especially with that card coming up there because you were their light, you're the sun, okay? You're the sun that shines down and warms them. I want to change my life and they are, they're transforming. They're releasing negativity, anxiety. They're making decisions because that's their card. So they know they have to make a decision right now to change their life. I see you everywhere, everywhere in their dreams, in their life, in their future. They see you and the Kundalini is rising. So there's a lot of sexual energy between the two of you this month, a lot of power. So what do you want to say to your masculine this month in June? What do you, wow, there we go. Wow, I am ready to begin again. So powerful. So you're saying to your masculine, I'm ready. I'm ready to start again, <clears throat> to communicate, to wipe the slate clean, to release the past. Let's do this now. So a lot of power coming into your connection and it's all happening from above. It's happening because of this energy of amethyst, this violet flame. It's coming in. And it's purifying you. It's resurrecting you. It's helping you to have faith in all things. So this month, trust. Keep the faith. See faith over fear. Remember the journey is unfolding beautifully. And your masculine is making decisions between now and August to change their life to be with you. So give them time. Give them space. Breathe. Send them love. And remember, everything is as it's meant to be. Have a beautiful day, a magical month of June, and I'll see you soon.